Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So I'm doing this video a few weeks before the Equinox because uh, it's going to get a little bit bumpy. And some of you might think, well, how can it get any bumpier? But I am here to help you smooth things out and get back to where you belong, get your energy elevated, and essentially you're going to be focused because your soul is focusing a lot of us, not you're just your soul, but everybody's soul is focusing a lot on the feminine and what the feminine has to get back, what has to be elevated and getting out of certain levels. So I'm going to talk to you about the maiden mother crone stages of our life. Now this applies if you were uh, born into a female body because you're going to have certain body parts anyway, even if they have been removed surgically. You have energetic connections to the past and to your future. So it's important. Another thing that's important is if people uh, transition themselves, they also are taking some hormones that are going to have an effect on the body. So this is actually for everyone's feminine energy. What can happen for you? Well, some of it is going to involve surges of feeling very sluggish, very tired, out of energy, out of inspiration, sometimes out of other resources too. And that's when things get tough because right at the point where you need to do something, are you hitting a speed bump? Are you needing a boost or something like that? Of course you do. Do you need to get a boost to where you're going? You're not gonna find it in the old levels. It's time to be new. Why? I'm gonna tell you quite simply, your twin's etheric body is connected to your body. Yes. So you have a body and a body. You also have your own connections as an individual. Your twin flame has you inside them. And that's the way it is. That's the way we're designed. That's the grand design and part of the divine plan. But how do you balance this? How do you come into a level of balance where you get out of old things? How do you get out of old relationships? What if you're married? What if you're older? What if you're younger? Younger twin flames experience things slightly differently than older twin flames. Older twin flames experience certain things in a certain way based on parts of them that have possible damage or too much life experience plus baggage. Are you carrying all the baggage of your soul group with you? You can't do that. It's a metaphysical impossibility and it will be a physical impossibility. So you will have surges of sluggish energy, especially during lunar cycles. Now, this is where we get the words for our menstrual cycles. And yeah, sorry men, menstrual cycles exist and as much as we wanna do this, we just actually can't ignore the fact that they do come. And there are different surges that happen because the word mens is actually from Latin and probably originally Greek, that means the moon. Moon energy, moon cycles. Do you experience drops in your energy? Are you finding that there's a lot of changes with your body? If you're younger, do you find that you have bad cramps, strange things going on with your cycles, highly emotional, weeping, out of energy, drops in your energy? And I'll even add to that. Do you hear voices? Do you have like a whole cavalcade of uh, personas around you, characters? All of that is a part of the level that you are expected to discard some of it and take the best of it with you. But how do you do that? You have to do this through your twin flame body. Your twin flame body is designed to keep you and your true love together. Not an entire pack, 
not an entire collective, two people. What about hormones and emotions? Now, when we hear the word hormone, a lot of us naturally think of estrogen, just estrogen, just estrogen, just estrogen, just estrogen. There's a lot more and hormones are chemical messengers to send different signals throughout your body. If you are having trouble sleeping, if you're sleeping too much and not feeling rested, if you can't even feel your own emotions and you don't know what you feel, those are red flags and those are why you should join my webinar group. What about some of the other stuff? Are your emotions feeling like they're all over the place? Are you up? Are you down? Are you overwhelmed? Are you feeling urgent and you just don't know? We are going through a surge of energy here at the equinox and there's things to know about the equinox because the equinox are always those times of light and dark, light and dark, light and dark. And it's a little bit different because it brings out a lot of shadow aspects, not always negative, but the shadowy stuff we don't really think about too often. There's also things such as menstrual taboos and the communal hut. How many women around the world or how many of you that watch this are aware that in other parts of the world, women live with a lot of taboo just surrounding their female areas, just about being a female, just about, you know, going into a non-existence once a month because you just happen to be female and you just happen to be sloughing off all of the unused womb material. It's a lot of cultures that do this. And younger women who are coming through this, they're kind of rejecting it, but still there's deep stuff there. How do you get rid of the deep stuff and have harmony? Harmony with your culture, harmony with your family, harmony with some other traditions. And how do you live and let live? How do you not want it to just like burst out of you? It is through your twin flame body. If you're a man and you're watching this, you're going to find that you will feel some of the effects of what your female twin, if your twin is a female, what your female twin experiences. Now, interestingly, if you are a gay man and you've been carrying feminine energy, you may feel some aspects of this. You may feel emotions that feel a bit foreign to you. You may feel urges to um, do what I call nesting. It's kind of called nesting. And there's many, many parts of you that are all trying to come into synchronization. It's not easy. But take heart because I know how to help you. So I'm doing a webinar in three parts that I'm calling the Maiden Mother Crown that is specifically to help the feminine and to help the feminine essence parts of you. So you have both, no matter if you're a femi, femi, femi girl who is, can, you know, self-described as ultra feminine, or if you're very masculine female, or if you don't identify as female at all, but you're actually born into a female body, you're going to have connections that are metaphysical that matter, that will make themselves known because they have to get cleared out. Now, what do I do in my classes? So this is a live webinar. It's not pre-recorded. It's live. I'm going to go over the stages of being a maiden and what goes on with it, being a mother, because for sure, many of you have birthed someone in another life. And plus you have a mother somewhere, somehow, even if you were given away and you're dealing with abandonment issues. And the crone, how do you retain the wisdom of your ages and experiences and still feel like a maiden who's been untouched by life, untouched by other people? I know how to help you do this. And it is to get yourself into 
the next reality, not the reality that everyone wants to get out of that's dragging you down and giving you drops in your energy. Not that one, because I guarantee you too many women have been flat out or pretty much have like had to call it kaputs with parts of their body. They've simply faded away. And I've been talking about this for a while. Are you from a mixed culture? Do you have a mixed background? This is going to be a double whammy for some of you. And it really would be helpful for you to join because getting out some of that ancestry is going to be the key to being able to effortlessly do some of the things that you need to do, which is to take back what's yours. When you take back what's yours, you're able to give yourself the things that actually belong to you, but also your creative zone. So I have a little diagram here. Um, I have the nine of pentacles. That's a number nine. That is a triple number, triple divine number. This is something that is symbolic of connoting cultivating self-sufficiently and unblocking yourself. How do you block yourself? Well, you have to unhinge several areas to do that. You will not be able to do every level if you're only using your pineal gland. You won't be able to do every level if you're just using your vagina. You won't be able to do every level unless you use your high heart connections. What else do I have here? Well, you can see here that this card is trying to symbolize several things here and embody things, okay? You can see the thing on her head. This is very symbolic of the full moon. You have different fruits around. You have a crescent moon down here. And you have the light and the dark on either side. She's got both on either side. Okay, this is called the priestess. But what does the priestess signify? The priestess signifies someone who has uh, lovingly steered energies onto a compassionate path. And this also signifies don't let go of your dreams. Do not let go of your dreams. What does that mean? I don't mean your actual dream time at night. I mean the things that you see for your future. That is what that signifies. It's also about developing parts of you. So have you seen other people where you could say, wow, they're really psychic. Wow, they're really spiritual. Wow, they're really like, they get the guidance. You're supposed to get guidance. I help you open so that you get the guidance that is specific for you. And only you and you and your union. Because if your twin is baffled or they're distracted or they're being a workaholic or they're not paying attention somehow, one of you has to take charge of this. That's you. You're taking charge of this and you are developing what some people call your sixth sense, your higher senses, your higher guidance. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When you get in the backwash of certain energies, like especially retrograde energies, it gets like gobbledygook. It's like trying to tune in a radio station and you can't get the station you like with the music that you like. It's just, it's staticky. You can't tell where it's coming from. You can't tell what is being said. You can't tell what your guidance is. I know how to help you with that and I know how to bring yourself up so that you are able to develop these parts of you. It's vitally important because that is what helps you navigate anywhere in the cosmos. Your intuitions, whether you call it mother's intuition or what I call it lover's intuition, you have to be able to expand and develop this. And not just be, and really, you can't be in fear about it. You can't be like, ooh, those people are negative. Being fearless means not being even afraid of negative people because you are able to blithely go along and be untouched, where you're able to intuit past things. 
that's truly being the being you are. Not a lot of people are able to do that yet, yet, because it's only now just coming. This brand new template for you is just coming. There's a lot more stuff that all ties in together. The mental, the mental beliefs, like um, when I was putting together the presentation, I found out some of those taboos, honestly, what I feel they have to do with is the taboos start way back in time having to do with hygiene, hygiene surrounding foods. But there are taboos like don't touch this, don't touch that, women shouldn't touch this, women shouldn't touch that. Why? Especially why in a modern age here? We're in modern times and you're already going through changes. You're already starting in this. This is not something that just started yesterday for you. This is something that has already been in process and you're here to have this culmination of things that you're capable of doing through a process, through a divine plan. What about the other one that I have? Now, this is a picture of, this is the Six of Cups. It's a child with a maternal figure there looking up, okay? And this will involve who have you looked up to, who have been some of your guides, because some of those are your guidance and angels that have helped you along the way. But it's also you being at the level of being very childlike and being guided by your higher self, much larger version of yourself, which also ties in with all of your senses and intuition. This is something that denotes cutting cords where they need to be cut. And not just cutting cords. I'm gonna say something here. There are things that people experience on this journey where they feel they have a sense of entitlement to be mean. I know this because it happens to me. People say the darndest things. And people say, even say things about themselves. Like someone, you know, they write things and, and they don't really think about it. It's just emotional. Okay, I get it. It's emotional. Okay. But telling people off is not the way of the future. Doing something harmoniously is a part of the future. And cutting cords means energetically fully releasing and unclicking it from yourself now there are people that think they're doing it and what they're actually doing is grabbing on with a death grip to everything that they cannot let go of and it's a bit like spiritual uh micromanaging they're going to do this because they're afraid they're afraid Okay, they're nervous that if they don't do it or if they don't do it right, it's somehow not going to help. This is why your body takes over. Your light body, your brand new template and your twin flame body is actually a brand new structure. It's so new that it's not going to carry the baggage that you might think you want to take with you. But I help you through that process because it can be very uncomfortable. It can send you to the doctor. It can send you to the hospital. I always talk to people throughout every year. I didn't just start doing this where people say, I had to go to the hospital because it was that intense. I needed to check if I was okay. And I applaud that. They should. People should. But there's also the other part of you, the metaphysical part, which I am here to help so that that supports your physical life. You want to be healthy. You want to stay away from these viruses that seem like they're just traveling through the collective. Work with me on your twin flame body and you will transcend the level where some of that stuff happens because it's still going to keep happening. From what I can tell, some of these are a revisitation and a diminished effect of really bad things that have you know gone through an entire population at different times like leprosy or the plague so this is also connoting cutting cords with other people's illnesses disease mental beliefs etc it's going to be aspects of childbirth and what i would call bad births so to be realistic whenever one of us has been a mother 
There are times where maybe we gave birth to someone's child that we didn't want. We didn't like that person. We didn't want that person. We didn't want to marry them. They were forced upon us somehow. And we gave birth to their child. Do we have a bond or do we not have a bond? Is that a bad birth? Is it bad nurturance? Are you that child? Are you one of the children that has been affected by non-loving parents? Have you had abandonment by one or the other or both parents? How many fathers have either abandoned or been forced to abandon their child or see their child sold? And what does that do to the heart? It builds a wall. Okay, people immure themselves, they put walls up so that they don't have to feel the pain, the loss that happens. So this is, this is a card that is actually optimistic because it is pointing to your good health, coming back into a level of health and being able to bear fruit again. In other words, being able to elevate this process so that you can be creative again, so that your creative zone isn't down there somewhere in the gutter or, you know, being affected or someone is trouncing on it. What if you're married? What if there's another relationship? I know how to get you to get your energy out of those relationships. So I encourage you to join because whether you like it or not, this is a body thing. It's not a mind thing. It's not even uh, what you might call, because a lot of people say like, yeah, I don't want any of those twin flame things. It's a body thing. You're going to wind up addressing it one way or another. You might as well address it in the best way possible, which is using the brand new connections that are available to you now. This has taken so long because there has needed to be a lot of off-planet healing and getting your connections lined up. So don't fall apart on this now. This is the time to join and get it together with the body things that you can do and the surrender that enables the higher part of you to take over on some stuff. That's true surrender. That's not rolling over and playing dead. Surrender is also deciding that you're not going to be contentious with someone, even if you love them. There is no sense of entitlement. There is only the deep heart connection. And that's what you go by. So I do have um, this coming up. It's in three parts. One price for three parts. Starting on March 13th and 14th. That is a Friday evening. Friday evening at 7 Chicago time. So that's good for people in Australia, Asia, um, India, um, Japan, that would be very good time for you. How it works is I always have a presentation so that you have something to go by and you know what's going on and you're informed. And I open up the floor for questions and answers and we always do a high level twin flame union meditation. I am guided when I'm within the group and if something's too personal, you can ask it anonymously and I will answer it. I'm also doing this on the 14th, which is a Saturday. Hopefully people will be off. That would be the afternoon in the UK, in Europe, in, um, it would be evening actually in parts of the Middle East. So hopefully with two times and there will be three parts. Once you join, you get it for both times. We spend about two hours together and uh, it this is a way that I'm able to help people elevate and you get toted along. You move along with some of this. So don't get lost in this. Come and join. I guarantee that you will have a good experience. And the main point is to get things balanced to where they need to be, be as befits someone who is in love. So thanks so much for watching. The links are below. I am available for one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you are having issues with your heart, your kidneys, if you're going through a divorce, if you are having massive, if you're having anxiety, because anxiety is something I know about and I know how to help you with that. Are you having anxiety? Are you having mildly phobic episodes? 
I know how to help you with that. I do it through an energy session. So thank you so much. Watch for the links below and I hope to see you there. Bye.